Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Joe Brand. So for today's, I'll be explaining to you our lesson two discussion in the subject of human popular culture. But before I'll do that, I would like to say hi to to those who are new to my channel. I say hi, and to those who are from Leyte, I know that we are badly hit. I am also from Leyte, so we are badly hit by the typhoon Odette, but. I know that we can cope up and I know that a lot of people are also helping. I am also helping in my own little ways. So to those who wanted to help them, you can reach out to them and send any any blessings you can give to them. And that's a big help. Okay, so for today is I'll be explaining our lesson to discussion in the subject of human popular culture. Okay, so so how do we understand popular culture? So have you ever wondered what is the real concept of popular culture so this time is i'll be explaining that to you in a very simple way in my in the very simplest way so that you won't find it hard to to comprehend okay so according to victor hanson according to victor hanson when you think about when you think about popular culture it is simply a reflection it is simply a reflection of what the people really wanted okay it is simply a reflection of what the majority of people wanted so it is a it is a facet of our social life it covers our social interaction it covers our our the things that we really wanted to do it covers all all the things that we are passionate about so popular culture it has a lot of concept so Maingon ko nga ang popular culture is just is just music, but popular culture is all about everything, everything you see here and everything you say now. So that is all about popular culture. So it has a various connotations. It has a various concept. That's why understanding popular culture is quite complicated and quite confusing. But we will try to explain that to you in a very simple way. Okay, so therefore, ang popular culture, the eye, it really depends on the person who are using it. It really depends on the person kung unsa iyang ganahan, kung unsa iyang hilig, kung unsa iyang gustong paminaon, right? Kung unsa iyang gustong buhaton, kung gust, unsa po iyang gustong nga, nga sundon. And that is part of our popular culture. So popular culture refers to the social life in which the public is actively engaged in. So when you think about social life, so all the things that we are experiencing now, that is part of our popular popular culture. For example, the trend now is the BTS, right? So therefore, kita tanan, we or the millennials, they are into the BTS. But for us, because murag di na kaita ma fall sa millennials like me, Murag sa time na to is Backstreet Boys pa. That's why when you talk about popular court culture, it is actively changing. It is actively uh, ch changing from one music to another music, from one from one culture to another culture. And that's why the Ghan Kaayub Tao, especially millennials, no, they are into Korean movies. They are into BTS because that is the influence of our popular culture. Okay, so. For example, millennials, they are so into, the, the public is most engaged into BTS or especially millennials. But kita, because we are not into, into the millennial way, lahi put atong popular culture. So that is the difference. That's why there, there is a, a gap between millennial and kita or kami. Sometimes I don't understand them. Sometimes they are so into something, but I don't get the I, I don't get the importance of doing that but sila lahi sila they they wanted to do it because it seems they are part of it so that is the influence of popular culture okay so therefore popular cult culture is shaped by how people by how people engage in their daily lives so when you talk about popular culture, the eye magdepende de siya. It really depends on the person on how they they put something into their daily lives. Therefore, kung nakasabukid, if you are 
if you are living there, lahi ang imuhang culture. Dito, maminaw sila o radio, right? Diri is murag wala na kayang radio na na internet. So, lahi ang atong culture sa sa city, diri sa ato a, or sa katong mga tao nga naa sa buke. That's why we have different popular culture. Okay, so it really depends on the standards and the things that you believe in. It really depends sa mga butang na imong gituuhan. It really depends sa mga butang that you put value and that is the importance of our popular culture. We try to follow. Because of the trend nga mauni siya buhaton karun, we try to follow and that is part of our popular culture. People really love popular culture. And people really love to follow what is trending, especially TikTok. I also have my TikTok, but not so not so good in dancing, no. So I am more into speaking. So that is my culture. So, but I have I have my own TikTok account, but not that good. Not that good for me. <laughs> okay, but I am I am doing that because it's the trend, and and for me, it's it makes other people happy. So it makes other people happy. So I also watch tic your TikTok your TikTok videos. It's very funny. So I try to blend in. I try to to put myself into that community because when you talk about popular culture, it it uh it keeps us more closer to what is what is new, what is new in today's generation. Okay. So popular culture really gives people individual satisfaction and communal bonding so what do you mean by individual satisfaction diba when you if if you have one million followers sa tiktok or sa youtube it makes you happy because you are considered um social media influencer and at the same time you can also get money from it and if you have one million one million followers on facebook so you can also do that and that's the power of popular culture that's why a lot of people are embracing are, are embracing the new trend like if they have a product if they are trying to promote products so they can use social media to promote their own products so that is the good thing of popular culture and for me it's the easiest way to to contact a lot of customers when you talk about when you talk about promoting yourself to something okay so actually last year pa ko nag create to youtube no so it was during the heat of pandemic that I've decided to share what I've got to share with a lot of students trying to explain something but I never thought I would go this far so thank you so much for supporting and for subscribing so that's it so this is the influence of popular culture because I know a lot of teachers or, or a lot of instruct instructors were also sharing their knowledge through YouTube through social media so that's why I'm doing it. And this is part of our popular culture. Do you think it's a good thing? For me, it's a good thing. Because before I was very shy to, to, to speak in front of the camera. But because of the pandemic, I tried to build more confidence because that's the only way for me to share something. If I am very shy with myself, how can I, how can I, share, how, how can I share my knowledge to other students through online? So... This is the best this is the best way for me to promote myself or to share the skills that I have in teaching. Okay? So that's the importance of popular culture. For example, the best example is the sports and television. When you see boxing or sports or any sports, we are so into it. For example, tan kag PBA, right? So kung makashot sila, you keep on shouting and cheering for them boxing like Manny Pacquiao so in bis ta it's because of the boxing the the event nga mahitabo karong adlawa we try to 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 stay at home because we wanted to watch the boxing or any sports that 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 we can relate to right for example the miss universe the miss universe is nahuman na siya so miss india won so we tried to to watch that from 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 the first competition until the last competi competition so it promotes commun communal bonding because of the popular culture okay so take note sports and television it's really impossible for us no nga although napay uban nga walay tv but kita tanan kadaghanan siguro nato 
mutan audio tag TV and television is very influence influential so kung unsa ta the way mag magsanina kung unsa ta the way mo speak it's possibly influenced by the popular culture that's why kids now kids now they are so fluent in speaking english they are so good in, in speaking english even though you did not teach them how to speak that but they are so good into it and possibly because they are so into youtube and they are so into television and they are so into a lot of things and that is the influence of popular culture and for me that's a good thing for for the kids no nga paspas kay sila mag english no because english is an international language but the disadvantage of of speaking too much english is sometimes we lost our identity as filipinos or as bisaya so if i asked my if i asked my pamangkino or niece to to speak bisaya they really find it hard to speak in bisaya although they are they are born bisaya so that's the downside of popular culture so we need to teach our students it's okay if we teach them english but we should we shouldn't let that our filipino culture also will be lost so lost identity that's why we need to keep in touch with our with our culture as filipinos okay because of our too much ex exposure sa sports and television it also influences how we how we see the world and how we react on things okay so and one of the one of the main source of popular culture is none other than the mass media so when you talk about mass media it talks about the news the, te the television the sports the music the radios the video games so what else the internet so the, those are the most influential things that we are having today and that's why we need to keep in touch with our children with our with the people around us not to not to be exposed too much in social media or in the mass media because the disadvantage is we also experience fake news we also experience a lot of things so that's why we need to be careful and learn how to filter things and how to in order not to get wrong information so mass media is, is the main source of our pop popular culture that's why we are doing this because of mass media that's why we are helping uh helping people from late because of mass media because we knew that they are that they are badly hit with a typhoon or death. That's why we are extending help because of mass media. We are sharing, we are calling for donations because of mass media. Because we can see, because makita nato sa TV that they are experiencing a lot of things, experiencing a lot of struggles. That's why we are helping them to cope up. We are helping them to, to, to cope up with their own struggles, with our own struggles. So that is the main source of popular culture. Okay? So before before when I was still young, the Ang Sikat is the are famous is the F four or the Mitchell Garden. But now uh, because of that transition, because of the changes that we are now experiencing, because of the different influences, the gandag di na ko kasabay. <laughs> right? So maglisud na ko comprehend because of the because of the changes that we are now experiencing, especially, especially for millennials, for millennials, okay. So let's let's try to explore the idea of folk culture. So what do you mean by folk culture? So when you talk about the way we have our popular culture, we also have our folk culture. So we will we will try to ex explore that thing, okay? Because take note. When you talk about popular culture, we are our ways of living are influenced by our popular culture. Our belief are also influenced by our popular culture. So let's try to explain what explain what is folk culture. Okay, folk culture embodies our simple way of life. So mas focus sila sa sa kasimple sa kinabuhi. So they are very conservative. They are trying to preserve their own life, to preserve sa ilang ganahan. So din this la ganahan ma, ma, ma change ang ilang na na ag na tani this la ganahan ma change ang ilang naandan nga kultura so they are they are considered as the folk culture okay simpler way of life so this la ganahan complications this la ganahan daghang changes right so they would rather stick 
kung unsa ilang naandan on the things that they are used to do. Okay? They are considered folk culture. And I know, nga daghan pa kay mga tao, nga ingani sila, that they are self-sufficient, that they are conservative, and wala sila ning blend in sa unsay trend nga naa na to diri karon we can't blame them because they also have their own belief they also have their own standards they also have their own identity so let's just respect them kung unsa ilang gusto and that is they belong to the folk culture okay so folk culture promotes stability why stability ano maka promote sila stability it is because they are they are trying to preserve kung sa ilang on the things that they are used to they are not they are not being influenced by others they are not into what is new so they prefer to live in a very simple way in a very in a very um sayon nga kinabuhi so this lang na have complication okay so as what you can see na apa jud mga tao biya Nga they are they are very self sufficient, very conservative. So dili sila pareha sa tong trend. They are also preserving their own identity. Okay, they are gitawag na sila very stable because they are not looking for something new. The folk culture, they are not looking for something new. They are just focusing on what they are used to. So they focus themselves on the things that they are used to. They are. They do not want to get influence or to change something because of the society. So that is the folk culture. Okay. So for example, as what you can see, no. For example, sa when you go to the province, no, na asilay mga culture that until now they are also practicing. Until now they are also practicing, and I think it's for me it's a good thing because they are trying to preserve their own identity. Okay, they are trying to to embrace more on their on their own identity as Filipinos. Okay, take note that folk culture they are considered as less adaptable to change than popular culture. So they are less adaptable to change than popular culture because popular culture is more into changing, looking for something new changing for for the things that we are used to but the folk culture is they are less adaptable because they don't fit in they don't they don't they are not looking for something new or to change something just to blend in with the society so that makes them different from the folk culture and the popular culture so how about high culture so we are done exp explaining the folk culture they are less adaptable than popular culture so how about high culture so high culture is not mass produced so they are not intended for mass consum consumption so when you talk about they are not intended for mass consumption meaning this culture is purely for the elite this this culture is purely sa mga Datu or sa mga kwartahan, no? So, manang mutan aw silag mga opera, at else, theater. So, it's not intended for mass, mass produce or mass consumption. So, that's why, wap ako ka, katanaw, bisan ako, no? Wap ako katanaw aning mga opera or mga theater. So, murag, di pa ako ka-relate. But, I know, makita ako sa TV, no? So, they have... They have they also have this kind like for example ballet opera theater art so i i know they have that thing okay so you 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 really have to spend money just to get a ticket just to go there to witness the high culture okay so if ako ang mutan out if 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 this is my first time to watch this kind of high culture you no know, ko relate so it needs a lot of training Based on the reference, no, if you are watching high culture performances, you need to undergo or to to have an extensive, extensive experience or training before you can appreciate the the beauty of high culture. Because if we would if we will just go there without any experience or without extensive training, we will not be able to appreciate the beauty of high culture. Okay, mananasile ballet, so nasile opera, theater arts, what what else? This is purely for high intelligence people. Okay, so I have never been there and 
I don't know if nakaadto na mo, but in my case, I haven't been there. So, I also love to to attend like that, but murag wala pa ang, ang right time for me to go there. But it's, it's really nice to watch ballet. It's really nice to watch ballet. Okay, so what are the, the features of popular culture? So, what are the features of popular culture? Unsa judi ay ang naa sa popular culture? Okay? So, there are four features. So, naatay, we have four features on how we can appreciate the beauty of popular culture. The first one is, the first feature is, popular culture is associated with commercial products. Okay, popular culture is is associated with commercial product because as you as you know when you talk about popular culture they are they are following the trend they are they keep on changing kung unsay unsay trend or, or unsay nindot nga i, i, i promote right so because when you talk about popular culture your main goal here is is to get profit and how can you get profit if you are just staying to what you are used to so for example for example, if I am selling makeup products, no, before kinahanglan juga physical store, but because of the pandemic, we don't have physical store. We just have an online, an, an online. Uh, you just have to do like this, like sharing, blogging, or sharing your product just to get profit. Okay, so when I share trending is to is to if you want to share something, you create your own channel. If you want to dance and to to send good vibes to other people you just have to to create a tiktok account so there's there are a lot of things to do now because of the because of the transitioning because of the changes that we are now experiencing so on trend karon is to do online is to do it online because we don't have face to face so you do it online okay the second feature is popular culture developing from a local to a national level so when you talk about popular culture in order for your product to be known to everybody it should start from a local level before you can go to a national level so focus more on your area and then you promote it outside so that is the idea of popular culture right so we have products here in the philippines nga nga atong gibalig gi export that we are exporting that product because because nindot man siya, right? Gi promote na to atong product, gi export na to atong product because we are extending, we are extending our products to to the national level. We are exporting our product. So that is part of popular culture. So instead of your customers going to your place, you just have to to send it to their place. So it's very easy and very accessible nga dili sila maglisod but if you want if they wanted to buy your products okay so you just you just have to post it to post it and to share and to and to create a good product then it will go up then it will become viral or it will become it will go into a national level so that is the second feature of popular culture the third one is allowing consumers to have a widespread access so when you talk about allowing because of popular culture your product can go anywhere because of popular culture it gives a customer a wider access to your product you are not you are not very you are not close you are opening the doors of your product to another country from one place to another country and that is the cost of popular culture and that is the reason why we are having why we are exchanging product from from the u.s to the philippines from philippines to u.s why we have that kind of product and that is because of popular culture why we are receiving a lot of product from from the US and why we are we are using that now and also our product is also being used outside outside of the Philippines and that is a good thing we are importing and exporting our own product okay the fourth one is constantly changing so what is the cue here so when you talk about popular culture popular culture is is constantly changing Changing meaning they do not stick to what they are used to. If they are used to do this product, they will try to, to change that product and to improve that product so that it will be known for everybody. So that everybody will, will buy that one and gain more profit because of their product. Okay, so that is the cue. When you talk about popular culture, it's constantly changing. 
it is not fixed so karon the trending is online but who knows later on mausab na sad siya because people are transitioning from the face to face to online to online and to something more and to something more and that is part of our popular culture okay so with with a lot of things to consider when you think about popular culture different views on popular cult culture so there is one person who explained to us what is really the meaning of popular culture so john story so he wrote a book he wrote a book entitled cultural theory and popular culture so he tries to explain what is what is really the meaning of popular culture so he wrote a book for this one because there, there are a lot of things there are a lot of views to consider when you talk about popular culture okay number one number one popular culture is simply a widely favored culture why so you might ask me why okay why it's because when you talk about popular culture widely widely favored so there is no negative feedback about popular culture there is no negative connotation about popular culture because popular culture is constantly changing so win customer okay so popular culture is widely favored culture okay so the second is popular culture is considered inferior and is function as a member of status and class so why do you think popular culture is considered inferior so for me if you're going to ask me popular culture is considered inferior because because we are popular culture is not that stable uh popular culture it, it really depends on the on the trend or in the or what are the things that are famous now so a popular culture really depends on on the status of the person for example i am not that rich so when you talk about popular culture and ako music is different from the music nga gigamit sa mga elite right they have their own music i also have my own music but at least makasabay-sabay tagamay but murag makaingon tawi that, that is considered in, uh, inferior popular culture because compared to high culture ang high culture is they are not mass produced so sa mga mga dato lang so opera theater arts what else ballet so manang makaingon ta nga hala dili man kay ni classy no ang popular culture because this is mass produced so tanan maka avail but when you talk about the high culture it is limited it is not intended for mass consumption okay so that's why nakaingon si Jan story ah okay possibly popular culture is considered inferior okay based on the status and the class of the person it really depends on the person kung unsa iyahang ganahan kung unsa pud iyahang hilig when you talk about popular culture and the third one is popular culture is folk culture so why diba ang first nga ang first pag define so as what i have said that folk culture is less adaptable than popular culture but according to john story he also stated that popular culture is folk culture so ingon siya the popular culture kuno it is diba when you talk about the folk culture the folk culture is very stable very very original they are self sufficient they are try to preserve so if you are going to ask me possibly it's just it's just uh, quite the same with the folk culture but but when you talk about folk culture they are preserving their own identity but popular culture is also trying to change or to look something new so i would disagree with the idea of with the idea of jan story because for me popular culture is different from the folk culture okay so this is his own this is his, his own view on on views and how we can we can define popular culture for culture and high culture okay so number four definition i would disagree with the idea of john story that popular culture is for culture okay the fifth one is popular culture is negotiated so what do you mean by negotiated so when you talk about popular culture it can be it can be negotiated so you can communicate you can talk or you can change it because 
you talk about popular culture, di ba? You are trying to look sa- something new or you are trying to blend in to what is what is famous now. So, pwede yun siya. It can be negotiated. So, bisag unsa imong ganahan, popular culture can be negotiated. Okay? So, pop- and the sixth one is popular culture are free to embrace a lot of things. So, popular culture daw, they are they are free to embrace some manufactured content. They can change it. They can alter it. They can filter everything. Right? So, popular culture is they are free to embrace everything. They are free to embrace new products. They are free to embrace changes. They are free to, to alter any updates. So, that is his view, John Story's view about popular culture. Okay, so that's the end of my discussion. I hope that you are learning for today's discussion. This is our lesson too. So I'll be posting more. So if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel and share this channel so we can help other students get something despite the pandemic, despite the typhoon. And I know we can do better than a typhoon. Thank you so much and God bless everyone.